The BTS album, the stylized in all caps, is the fifth Korean language ninth overall studio album by South Korean boy band BTS. It was released on November 20, 2020, through Big Hit Entertainment, nine months after its predecessor, Map of the Soul, 7 2020. Created in response to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, B is inspired by the thoughts and feelings the band experienced during the conception of the project. The record sees the band members contributing to various aspects of the album, including songwriting, development, production, visual aspects, and direction. B is primarily a pop record, encompassing hip-hop, edam, and disco genres with elements of synth-pop, neo-soul, funk, R&B, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, and 2010s. Described by BTS as a letter of hope, B touches upon themes of comfort, loneliness, anxiety, depression, frustration, restlessness, sadness, hope, connection, and joy. The album was preceded by the standalone single Dynamite, which marked BTS' first number one single on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. It was followed by the lead single of B, Life Goes On, which also debuted atop the Hot 100, becoming BTS' third consecutive number one song in the United States, and peaked within the top ten of the charts in the United Kingdom. B received generally positive reviews from music critics, who praised the album for its authenticity and simplicity while a few expressed mixed feelings and found it unadventurous. The album was BTS' fifth to debut at number one on the Billboard 200, making BTS the fastest group to earn five chart-topping albums in the United States since the Beatles. BTS also became the only act besides Taylor Swift to debut atop the Billboard, Hot 100 and Billboard 200 charts simultaneously. Elsewhere, the album topped charts in Canada, Denmark, Japan, Lithuania, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, the Republic of Ireland, South Korea, and Wallonia, and peaked within the top 10 of 14 other territories. Background The pandemic unexpectedly put a lot of our original plans to a halt. However, it provided us an opportunity to step back and focus on ourselves as well as our music. We reflected the emotions that we felt during this unprecedented period into this album. We were also able to take a step further by taking roles in overall production, such as concept development, composition, and visual design. BTS released their fourth Korean language studio album Map of the Soul, 7 in February 2020, to critical and commercial acclaim. In support of the album, the band was slated to begin their fourth worldwide concert tour, Map of the Soul Tour in April 2020, which was eventually postponed due to the COVID demoness 19 pandemic. On April 17, 2020, RM confirmed that the band was working on a new album during a live broadcast on YouTube. He hinted that they would be sharing the preparation process of the forthcoming album through subsequent self documented videos as part of their Stay Connected and Carry On initiative to interact with the fans during the lockdown. On April 24, Suga teased the album in another broadcast. Before we started, we decided who was in charge of what, who would oversee everything, who would oversee the visuals, who would oversee the music. We split that up. We discussed it amongst ourselves and made the decision. During a YouTube live stream on May 1, Jimin revealed that he was assigned as the music project manager and admitted that the forthcoming album would be written and produced by the members. Talking about his role, Jimin explained, I don't know yet how exactly I will proceed, but I am working hard in order to be of help. As PM, what I can do now is ask the members how they want to work, what story they want to tell, how many songs they want to do, what style of song, what the composition will be, which members will be suitable for what, and communicate this to the list. On June 16, Jimin revealed about the writing and recording sessions for the album. On August 13, Big Hit Entertainment held a corporate briefing where the agency confirmed that BTS' new album would be released in the fourth quarter of 2020. Speaking about the album in an interview with Teen Vogue, BTS stated, 
an increase of direct participation in the album making process allowed us to explore more aspects of our music and creativity because all the members are involved in the album somehow there are more last-minute changes being made than before which leads to more uncertainties surrounding the finalization of the according to a press release the album imparts a message of healing to the world by declaring even in the face of this new normality our life goes on and reflects the thoughts emotions and deepest ruminations of bts while working on the album this new project offers an even richer musical spectrum experience as well as the most bts ish music yet music and lyrics and lyrics and music and lyrics v is primarily a pop record encompassing hip-hop edam and disco genres with synth pop neo soul funk r&b 1970s 1980s 1990s and 2010s mainstream music elements box called the a loudly retro mix of pop sounds ranging from frothy to funky melancholic to mellow filtered through a lens of determined positivity the album is 28 minutes and 30 seconds long and features eight songs the album makes heavy use of acoustic guitars pianos funk bass drum machines horns and sentimental string instruments the issues the vast soundscapes and psychoanalytical concepts of the band's previous works the record starts off slow with warm soothing ballad-esque comforts before picking up pace in the second half with some of the band's more refined savvy and uplifting pop yet lyrically inspired by the covid demonist 19 pandemic bts described the album as a letter of hope during the quarantine era the album expands on a wide range of emotions exploring themes of comfort loneliness anxiety depression burnout fear frustration restlessness sadness hope connection resolve and joy and any observed that be cycles through the various ever-changing moods the pandemic has made a constant in our lives rolling stone noted that the record explores the different highs and lows BTS is feeling throughout this strange, difficult time. The Atlantic summarized B as a kind of musical document of the members' thoughts and feelings about losing a year to the pandemic. This album is like a page in our diary of the times we are currently living in. The album title B represents being and captures the honest thoughts and emotions we are feeling at the moment. We've included a lot of chill and laid-back songs that anyone can enjoy, so we hope many people can find comfort through this album. I think this album will give us an opportunity to grow further as artists who can represent the current times through music. Songs The album opens with The Ruminative Life Goes On, a mid-tempo alternative hip-hop and synth-pop song underlaid with an acoustic guitar. Pertaining to a mellow vibe, the production of the song is folksy and features electronic beats, 808 drums, melodic rhymes over a stripped back sound accompanied by acrobatic vocals and harmonies on the chorus. Its lyrics deal with the COVID demonist 19 pandemic and speaks of being hopeful for better times. RM said that the song has a simple message but a profound truth. Rolling Stone compared the track to the band's slow burning 2017 single, Spring Day. The second track, Fly to My Room, is a 1990s-inspired R&B, neo-soul, and pop song with gospel and synth-pop elements. Performed by Jimin, V. J. Hope, and Suga, the vulnerable track features breathy vocals and falsettos, with the former two switching back and forth in the verses and chorus, and the latter two rapping in a sing-song style. The song relies on a sparse, laid-back production for which 70s piano, funky keyboards, and track-programmed drum beats provide minimalist instrumentation. Sporting a staccato-style melody, it starts off slow and suave before progressing to a crescendo. Stereogum compared the chord progression to the older works of Mariah Carey lyrically. Telepathy is a playful 1980s inflected disco and funk song that makes use of an electronic production. The song is driven by 70s beats, auto-tuned vocals, G-funk whistles, a groovy bass line, synth bass, stacked up vocal harmonies, a cowbell, and jam band percussion. Its lyrics detail the connection, 
that one can feel from someone despite physical distance and sees BTS admitting to the disorientation caused by excessive free time. The production uses brassy instrumentals, bold drums, and a sparse jarring scratching sound. The song begins with a jazz guitar, shifting into a chopped and screwed drum breakdown, and advances into a climax of grandiose trumpets. The seventh track, Stay, performed by Jungkook. Incorporating heavy bass and an instrumental chorus, the song references how technology binds the band together with listeners. The album closes with the summer anthem, Dynamite, a 1970s flavored disco pop song with elements of funk, soul, and bubblegum pop. The upbeat production consists of snapping hand claps, bounces, grooves, and infectious beats. The track features a funky bass line accompanied by vocal harmonies, falsetto hooks, and a disco rhythm that is includes blaring brass, lush keyboard chords, palm muted guitar sound. The layered vocals, echo Y synth, and celebratory horns are used to recreate the 70s retro sound and lyrically talks about the joy and appreciation of little things that makes life valuable. Release and Promotion On September 27, 2020, Big Hit uploaded a teaser poster with the album's name, also announcing the release date. Pre-orders for the deluxe edition began the following day. On October 30, BTS teased the title of the album's lead single, Life Goes On, on Twitter. On November 10, the band posted the album's track list and digital cover. On November 13, they held an unboxing session of the album, which was broadcast live on their YouTube channel. Nine months after Map of the Soul, 7, B was released worldwide on November 20, 2020, through Big Hit and Columbia in conjunction with the music video for Life Goes On. On November 22, the band performed Life Goes On for the first time at the American Music Awards of 2020. The band performed it from the Seoul Olympic Stadium in matching black and white outfits. The following day, they performed Life Goes On on Good Morning America and The Late Late Show with James Corden. An essential edition of the album was announced by Big Hit on January 24, 2021 as a thank you to fans for the historic milestones the band achieved on the Billboard Hot 100 and at the The Grammys. Pre-orders for this version opened on January 25. The album retained the same eight-song track list as the deluxe edition, but the packaging's internal components contained some differences. Surprise gifts for the band's fandom were sequentially unveiled in the days leading up to the release on February 19. Live Performances BTS made their MTV Unplugged debut on the February 23, 2021 special edition of the show titled MTV Unplugged Presents BTS. The group's half-hour-long historic appearance as the first Korean act to headline the series saw them perform a stripped-back, five-song setlist consisting of four tracks off the album Telepathy and Blue in Grey, Life Goes On Dynamite, and a surprise cover of Coldplay's Fix You. This marked a live premiere of the first two tracks, besides that the group had yet to perform since the album's release. Each performance was filmed on a different set to match the mood of the song being sung, including an arcade-like game room for telepathy and an indoor field. For the third and fourth tracks, the group was accompanied by a live four-piece band ghost, comprising a drummer, guitarist, bassist and keyboardist the band previously supported BTS live appearances on SNL and NPR Tiny Desk series. Writing for Variety Post broadcast, Jeff Benjamin praised the group's rendition of Life Goes On for how it highlighted their grip on harmonies and fix you for the rich, bassy notes from the rappers backing the impassioned performance of the vocalists that showed off BTS strong harmonies. Benjamin mentioned a three-part harmony pulled off with ease by rapper Aram and vocalists Jin and Jimin during the song as a particular highlight. Consequence of Sounds Mary Siroki reviewed the appearance favorably, writing that the BTS boys brought their game, keeping their virtual performances new and exciting, refusing to let their distance from an audience push them into anything repetitive or mundane. Siroki singled out Jin and Jimin's vocals on Blue and Grey, 
noting how the two soared in their upper registers, offering lush harmonies throughout. Esquire called the appearance another career highlight of many for the group, and said that it was stunning with cinematic performances. Dazzling customized sets and costumes befitting each song, but still powerfully intimate and a rare opportunity to cut through the glam of global stardom to see these young men. Critical Reception He received generally positive reviews from music critics. Most of them praised the album's authenticity, while a few also found it unadventurous. At Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating out of 100 to reviews from mainstream critics, the album has an average score of 80 based on 11 reviews, indicating generally favorable reviews. Aggregator Any Decent Music gave it 7.2 out of 10 based on their assessment of the critical consensus. Writing for Enemy, Ryan Dolly described B as the most accurate musical encapsulation of the roller coaster that is pandemic life so far. In an enthusiastic review, All Music's critic Neil Z. Jung deemed the album as a heartfelt and inspiring soundtrack praising BTS' vulnerability and intimacy and wrote that despite its brief runtime, B is an expert snapshot of time and place, a document of a worldwide event that manages to strengthen their connection to their listeners and push their Jachin Imblai of Evening Standard called the album exquisitely produced with near-faultless vocal performances and opined that, although it doesn't take many risks, it works as a thing of comfort for millions. Reviewing for Rolling Stone, Jeff Benjamin described B as the most on-brand album BTS has ever made, recognizing hardship while offering healing and hope and a way to look past our current pain. Lenica Cruz of The Atlantic considered B as a carefully composed eight-track album of intimate and stylistically diverse songs. Danny Blum of Pitchfork wrote that the album fixates on the frustration and grief of life in quarantine, sifting through the blurry days to construct a new form of intimacy. In the Los Angeles Times, August Brown wrote that B is the band's most overt attempt to ascend the U.S. pop charts and a trim reflective and modest LP about resilience, written to me. Race of Buter from Time deemed the album as short and sweet, that is filled with a dose of escapist melodies, thoughtful lyrics, and strong personality. NBC News' Lexi Lane said that B shines through as their brightest and most unifying album yet. In her review for MTV News, Emma Salata said that the album channels the members' own fears and anxieties, as well as a steadfast determination to overcome and ultimately delivers a profound beacon of hope for the future. Describing the album as an oasis, Katie Go of ID Magazine wrote that B is the intimate, introspective lockdown project that embodies the emotional turmoil most of us have been through during 2020 and speaks, frankly, directly and unapologetically, to the current moment. Annabel Nugent of The Independent praised the album for experimenting with various musical styles and stated that it avoids the pitfall of sounding like a checklist. Consequence of Sounds Mary Siroki dubbed the album as the cozy comedown which brings the listener home in every sense, inviting us into the world of these seven young men. Stereogum reviewer Chris DeVille considered the album as a soothing sound for a pandemic racked year in which BTS remain maximalists at heart. Similarly, Veronica A. Bastardo of The Quietus opined that B offers an introspective chronicle about isolation, quarantine, and finding a safe middle between sorrow and hope. Boxes Audra Romano described B as a sublime album full of seamless litany of bops intended to commemorate and celebrate getting through the COVID-19 pandemic. Exclaim, Writer Evaju stated, while B is a slight departure from BTS' usual offerings, its more matter-of-fact and laid-back vibe could pull in new fans who are looking for music to relate to in this crappy year. In a review published by the Arts Desk, Peter Quinn lauded the album's production and BTS' vocal palette for switching from rap to angelic falsetto in the blink of an eye. For Clash, Malvika Padden asserted, that the album is far simpler than the band's past releases yet equally comforting but argued its lack of appeal to the casual listeners. In a more critical review, Slant Magazine's Sofia Ordez acknowledged the album for its simple and lucid message 
however, criticized it for trading in overstimulating spectacle for low-key introspection. Accolades Commercial performance He debuted atop the U.S. Billboard 200 with 242,000 album equivalent units, including 177,000 sales, becoming BTS' fifth number one album in the United States. As a result, BTS became the fastest group to earn five number one albums since the Beatles between 1966 and 1968. BTS also became the first group to have two chart-topping albums in the country in 2020, and the second act overall following Young Boy Never Broke Again. Its lead single Life Goes On debuted atop the Billboard Hot 100 with 150,000 downloads and 14.9 million U.S. streams, becoming BTS' third number one song following Dynamite and Savage Love Lacks Siren Beat Remix. With this, BTS became the fastest group in over 42 years to earn three number one songs in a span of three months since the Bee Gees. The band became the second act following Ariana Grande to score three Hot 100 entries in 2020, and also became the first group to land two number one debuts on the chart. Life Goes On marked the first song not sung in an English language to debut atop the chart. BTS became only the second act in history besides Taylor Swift to debut at number one on the Hot 100 and Billboard 200 simultaneously. They also became the first group and ninth overall act. Seven tracks from the album charted simultaneously on the Hot 100 chart, with Life Goes On and Dynamite in the top minus 10, Blue and Gray in the top minus 20, and Stay in the top minus 40. This stood as the most simultaneous entries on the Hot 100 chart by a Korean act. The album was BTS' 11th to debut atop the World Albums chart, their 14th top minus 10 on the ranking overall, and has spent 10 consecutive weeks at number one as of the issue dated February 6, 2021. In Canada, B arrived at number one on the Canadian Albums Chart, giving BTS their fourth number one album in the country. Seven tracks of the album entered the Canadian Hot 100, with Dynamite peaking at number two and Life Goes On at number eight. B debuted at number one on South Korea's Gaon Album Chart, with over 2.2 million copies sold in its first week. This marked the second highest opening week sales figures in the chart's history map of the soul. Seven holds the record with over 3.3 million copies its first week, and the album became BTS' eighth consecutive million seller in the country. The album received double million certification from the Korea Music Content Association Kamaka on January 6, 2021. In Japan, he entered the monthly Oricon Albums chart for November at number 3, with 191,208 copies sold. It received platinum certification from the Recording Industry Association of Japan Riage in January 2021. In the United Kingdom, he debuted at number 2 on the UK Albums chart, selling 19,562 copies in its first week, behind Michael Ball and Alfie Bowes together at Christmas. This became BTS' fourth top ten album in Britain. Three songs from the album charted on the UK singles chart, with Life Goes On entering and peaking at number ten, giving BTS their second top ten song in Britain. In Ireland, the album topped the Irish albums chart, becoming the band's second chart topper in the country following Map of the Soul, seven. By doing so, BTS became the first group in eight years to have two number one albums in the same calendar year since One Direction in 2012, and also the first act since Ed Sheeran in 2017. The album was also a chart topper on the New Zealand Albums chart, giving BTS their third number one album in New Zealand. By reaching the same position on the Norwegian Albums chart, B became BTS' first number one album in the country. In the Flemish region of Belgium, the attained number one on the Ultra Top 200 Albums chart, becoming the band's chart-topping album in the country. It also topped the charts in Denmark, Poland, and Portugal. In Australia, B entered at number two on the Area Albums chart, giving BTS their seventh top ten album in the country. The album also attained number two position in Finland, 
France, Italy, Netherlands, Spain, and Switzerland. Similarly, we reached number three in Sweden and Wallonia region of Belgium. The album also entered Germany's Offizial Top 100 at number four, and the Czech albums at number five. At the end of 2020, according to MRC data, B was the fifth best-selling physical album of the year in the U.S., with 252,000 hard copies sold. It was one of two BTS albums to make it on the top ten ranking. The other being Map of the Soul, seven in first place BTS was the only artist with multiple albums on the list. In South Korea, the album took second place on Gaon's annual album chart, again only behind its predecessor Map of the Soul, BTS had the most entries of any artist on the 100 spot ranking, with 13 of their albums entering the final chart. Following the release of the Essential Edition in February 2021, they returned to the top 10 of the U.S. Billboard, 200 at number 7 on the chart issue dated March 6, with an additional 36,000 equivalent album units sold. Of this number, 28,000 copies were pure sales, giving the album a third non-consecutive week at number one on the top album sales chart. BTS also returned to the top of the Artist 100 chart for their 16th week overall, further extending their record among all duos slash groups. In Japan, the album sold an additional 95,853 copies for the period February 15, 21, and re-entered the top three of the weekly Oricon Albums chart at number two on the issue dated March 1, 2021. The album also ranked at number two on the monthly chart for February, with 118,912 cumulative sales. On March 26, Billboard reported that 32 albums saw an increase in sales for the week ending March 18 following the 63rd annual Grammy Awards. Of these, B was the 12th highest selling album experiencing a 6% increase and moved 15,300 units, which helped push it from the top 50 of the Billboard 200 into the top 40 at number 39. As of June 2021, the album has remained on the chart for 28 consecutive weeks. Track Listing Personnel Personnel Credits adapted from liner notes, Big Hits website, NetEase Music, and Tidal. Charts. Certifications and sales. Release history.